crying and nobody is crying but me friends all over no I'm dry to forget about how much I care for you Do I have to count it? It's all there. Checked out the first time, right? Yeah, it did. Here. It's been his location for the past three weeks. Where he goes, who he sees, what he does, even when he shits. Everything. And his partner? You won't have to worry about him. I took care of that. You took it all the way. For this kind of money? I thought she'd expect nothing less. We're good? that money, you're gonna have to kill me. Your money is yours, Mr. Dawson. So what do you want? James Dawson. It took a 
us a while to uh, determine who to call. And then we found you. Who are you people? Care for a cigarette? No. How about a drink? If our intelligence is correct, which it usually is, I understand you're uh, quite the connoisseur of fine liqueurs. Damien, you take it from here. Do you know what a centenarian is? No. Like you never heard the word, or you're unsure, or you don't know what- I've never heard the word. I don't know what it means. I don't know anything. And quite frankly, I still don't know what I'm doing here. And I would like to. A centenarian is a person who lives to be over 100 years old. This organization traces back to the First World War. At its origins, the concept was simple. A faction of the war effort that was unknown to the average civilian soldier or even government official. Its purpose? To execute missions and get results without the rules of war or diplomatic issues in the way. We were immune. The man who created this organization and funded it came up with a unique medical device. So small and unheard of people didn't even think to look for it. Its purpose was the centenary. I don't... I don't follow. Of course you don't, because up until now you thought such a thing didn't exist. The device was very experimental, and the crazy thing was, it worked. It was inserted into the back of the neck of three soldiers during the middle of the First War. The device would allow a man's heart rate and overall medical growth to be slowed down to the speed of a tortoise. This would make him essentially not age. That's not possible. Anything. Is possible. John Burningham. He was one of those men. No pictures. Ten years ago when Sean got back from Iraq, he was very disappointed in the organization and why we would send him there. He came in here one day and trashed his profile. He destroyed all our computer and paper records and he also killed a lot of our men. He fought in Iraq. He fought in Iraq, Desert Storm, Korea, Vietnam, World War II. He's a man of many wars. I just... I just don't see how any of this is possible. Only three devices were made for three soldiers. The creator of all this destroyed his blueprints and put a bullet in his head after he did it. Then Sean comes in and destroys everything. It's taken us the last ten years to get up and running again. Okay, so what do you want from me? You are James Dawson? Yeah. Where'd you find these? We do have our resources, Mr. Dawson. It's a hell of a story that, if true, and made public, would involve a lot of prison time for you. James, all we want you to do is do what you do best. Search and destroy. If you do this, we'll clear you of all these charges, you'll walk away free man. I'm assuming I don't have to ask what happens if I don't help you. No. Is he even in the country? That we do know. Our original facility where he killed all our men wasn't too far from here. We believe he's still in South Florida lurking somewhere in the shadows. He's marked by a small scar on the back of his neck. The scar is where the device was inserted. If you know where he is, then why don't you just use the military? You know, find him yourself. 
Too many public records and online information, plus the main four branches don't know we exist. Only the generals' generals know we exist. And technically they don't exist, too. We need someone who could disappear. We need someone who's good at what they do. We needed you. to see you too, Travis. I told you, I'm not doing you any more favors until you pay and me. And I will pay you. That's what you said the time before that. The last time, and the time before that. I could pay you. I promise. This is Must be pretty serious, then. Yeah, very serious. Now let's get to work. Who is he this time? I don't really know. He's a, he's a ghost. He's been <clears throat> off the grid for almost 10 years. Do you have a name? Uh, Sean. Sean Burningham. Okay. <sighs> Nothing. What's wrong, Tony? Let me try something sorry, else. Though. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, I found something. What? Credit card clip under the name Sean Burningham, June 18th, 2006. Okay, and that's the last one? Yeah. Where? Radio Village on 8th Street. Okay, well, he's been off the grid for 11 years. I'm sure he's using an alias. Okay, well, doesn't that something have to be done through the government? Uh, something legally? Yeah, technically, but if this guy's a ghost, he probably did it through someone else illegally. Okay, well, that's your department, Travis. This is why I came to you. All right. Okay. If he did do it illegally, it would have to be done through the Bronick system. And what's that? The Bronick system. It's an online program for identity change. It's the first of its caliber and kind to hit the deep web. I created it. Ah, oh, okay. So if you created it, you could still get into it. I just did. If I'm correct. Yep, here it is. Sean Burningham, dated March 9th, 2007. Changed, changed to, to Andrew Smith. Andrew Smith. Do you have any general idea where it might be? Uh, South Florida. Now all I gotta do is look for online receipts okay. from Andrew Smith's Trace South Florida, drop the pin, IP, we should have a trace. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Listen, man. I really appreciate you doing this. But at least you're gonna pay me this time, right? Of course I'm gonna pay you. Stop questioning me. That sounds like a real confident answer. Money doesn't come easily, Travis. You know this. It never comes from you. Hey, relax, okay? I try my best. All right, we got it. What? You know your longitudes and latitudes?
All men are soldiers at some point. Whether they know it or not. They fight for country. They fight for friends. They fight for themselves. Sean. Sean fought for country. But somewhere along the way, he started to fight for himself. Sean was already dead. And I think he knew it too. I searched high and low. I was like a vulture stalking his prey, waiting for him to just give up. The more I learned about Sean, the, the more I didn't understand. He was the organization's top man, trusted, respected. He was well paid and he gave it all up. Something clicked inside him, something that made him do a complete 180. Even Travis's best software couldn't get a pin on this guy. You would think after a hundred plus years, he'd leave more of a footprint. I guess that's what living in the shadows does after a while. You become part of it. The days became weeks. The weeks became months. Time was passing by and I have nothing. Not a clue. Not a trace. Nothing. I've had jobs that seemed impossible before, but Sean, it's like, it's like he was in my head, haunting me, always a step ahead. It's like if, it's like if he knows who I am and what I can become. Sir, do you have a moment? What is it? Update on James Dawson. Yeah. Still in pursuit. He had a little problem though. Damien's gonna resolve within tomorrow and get him back on track. Good. Is that all? May I ask you something? These devices, sometimes it feels like they can, you know, think. And why do you say that? Well, Sean, for starters, he went crazy and then rogue. Mark Woods was getting there and then. And then, we terminated him. There's a reason why we were washing these men every decade. There's a reason why we didn't want them to know who they truly were. We didn't want them acting like men from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. We wanted them to act like men from the generation they're living in now. Right. And Sean? These men barely age, but the devices do. We were losing them. The washing wasn't working anymore. Sean knew it was his time, but he refused. So, they can think. They can interpret. Men can think. What about James?
You failed us, James. I lost the link. I didn't fail. When we hired you, I thought we had an understanding. I thought we had an agreement that you- And we do. But let me make something very clear. You did not hire me. Hiring me gave me a home like this. What you did- Is a bargain. A bargain for your services. And in turn, we grant you immunity. You get that from Sean? Depends on how you look at it. You are to find him, James. And I can assure you, our organization does not tolerate failure. Seems to me that your organization failed ten years ago, when you destroyed all your files and killed all your men. You weren't my first choice, you know. I like a man who doesn't have problems. Well, the way I look at it is, the more problems you have, the more experience you have. Good day to you, Mr. Dawson. Damien. You'll have your guy. I think I have something. What? Yeah, he, he must have changed his IP. What does that mean? That means we can't trace him the way we did before. The hard drive I gave you pins the computer though. It doesn't require an IP. It acts like a homing device directly to his computer. Okay, we've been over this. Right, the software acts like a homing device. The issue was I needed him to have the computer turned on to make the initial pin. Now, I thought there must have been a glitch in the software, but he must have had his computer off this whole time. You have the drive, right? Yeah, I still got it. Yeah, plug it into your computer. Yeah, I got it.
Sir? Huh? Uh, coffee. Black. It's not nice to stare, Mr. Dawson. Nor is it nice to follow. We need to talk. Of course. If you were gonna make it quick, you would've done it already. So James, you're a bounty hunter. A private eye of sorts. It makes sense they would send you. Who gave you the order? For the job. Mm -hmm. I never got to see his face. He was always hidden somehow. It looked like he was in charge of the other guys. The Shadow Man? What? He's been running that place for years. I'm honestly surprised he's still alive. And I think they're honestly surprised you're still alive. They created me. They made me into this. This weapon. What reason did they give you to kill me? I like to keep personalities out of this. An age-old excuse for an answer no man has. You may be a bounty hunter or a private eye, but you are no assassin. You've never felt the rush of putting a bullet in another man. I can see it in your eyes. Cold but pure. A liar but morally honest. Obligated yet afraid. And you're a murderer. I am a weapon and I am the bullet. I am not the trigger, Mr. Dawson. You ruined your own team. You killed because you could. I bit the hand that poisoned me, poisoned us all. The other centenarians were pawns being shoved around like a spare tire, waiting to be changed to something new, something better. And you? I had a family, you know, a wife and a kid. They're dead, both of them. And you may think they were killed, right? The answer is no. The truth was age. This life has become a curse, and I've seen too much for a lifetime. I've given most of it to the organization. I fought many wars for them. I was a pawn. And now, I am the king that refuses to play. I'd like to show you something. This is where it happened, all those decades ago. You know, the building had a little bit of work, but this is still the original structure. Who does it belong to now? Me. Don't you worry that the organization is going to look for you here? Actually, not at all. You see, this land was bought up by a construction company years ago. They were planning on demolishing, and then I bought it from them under an alias. And now I have no need to worry. So this is where they operated, ten years ago? Yes. So this... This is where you destroyed everything? The world can be a confusing place, my friend. Sometimes people make decisions based on the heat of the moment. Out of mere fear, anger, and so on. So you lost control? Not at all, actually. They lost control of their endgame. They wanted more in a time when they should have called for peace. Right here. This is where they did it to me. This is where they cursed me. Why are you showing me this? My life is a memoir at this point, Mr. Dawson. Everything that I am and was started here over a hundred years ago. Seems appropriate that it would... Appropriate that it would what? I think we both know how this night's going to end, Mr. Dawson. Does this place mean nothing to you? What? 
I said, does this place, this room, mean anything to you? A place that would be home to a metamorphosis that would shape your life forever. What are you talking about? Think deep within yourself. I don't understand what- You are a centenarian, Mr. Dawson. You are the organization's trigger. You are the final stage of their work. To find and kill me. You're lying. Time is running out, Mr. Dawson. They'll be here soon. And when they arrive, you will find the real truth. The only real truth they want is your blood. It's a pity. The hypocrisy of war. The hypocrisy of man. Man creates war, and war puts an end to man. Why? Why would any man agree to such terms? They're forced to. Some are. You were. And then you abandon it. Yes. Yes, I did. They say that the end result of war is peace, but if peace is met with death, then... Oh, Christ. Just do it. Do it! <laughs> It took us 10 years, but we finally got him. Yeah, we did. Why like this? Sean was the real enemy. James did our work for us, and in doing so, he got the devices back from both of them. Yes, sir, but do you think he understood? Do you think he realized that he was a centenarian? James? Yeah. To be honest, I really don't know. The devices did some strange things to those men. Along the way, they lost who they really were. The centenarians were outdated. They were a weapon that at one time were considered nuclear. As the decades went on, they expired. And then they became a threat to our very existence. Right. I still feel bad about this in a way. Don't you? War and hypocrisy sadly go hand in hand. The blood of man is their child. Dripping from their fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> 